Day 98. So it was nice to get back to work today and to see the people that I spend most of my kind of waking life with. And although I'm still probably a little bit jet lagged from the flight, it's nice to get back into the swing of reality a little bit. And I've had a few conversations today with different people about the ability to be honest and openly explore and talk about things and about how my experience of that has made such a massive difference to my emotional well-being and to be honest just a million different aspects of my life and it took me back to an analogy that one of my friends kind of came up with six or seven weeks ago now about how or the way that the brain works where you encounter new things in the world it uses your previous experiences as reference points to try and figure out what's gone on in front of you in that moment in time and she was saying that she likes to think about it as if if you looked inside her head there'd be this kind of massive library of different experiences in her life and in that library there's kind of this little team of goblins that will take the books as they come in and they'll find where they belong in the library and sort of over on one side you can have this kind of really dark foresty area where all the bad and negative things that happen go and the books get filed in there and then on the other side you've got this wonderful kind of gold heavenly looking place where all the best memories and experiences go and that each time a new experience or memory is formed that book then has to be taken to wherever it needs to be in the library and so the goblins do have to venture off into the dark forest sometimes they do have to venture off into the gold paradise as well but they can only really file the books properly once those books are closed and finished. And so when they do wander off into the dark foresty place, if there are books that are still unfinished from no matter how long ago, those books are still open and the goblins have to kind of meander past those books so they're trying to find the right place to file the new memory that's come in. And because the goblin's job is to try and categorise and file all the books in the entire library each time it comes across an unfinished book, it tries to use the new learning from the new experience that's happened in the book that it's just been given to see if it can try and use that to resolve some of the other books that are left open. So even though in our kind of consciousness we're not going over those things that are still unfinished in our past, but the way that our minds are wired to try and draw links between different pieces of information to draw conclusions, a lot of that stuff is still going on in the background. And if I think about my experience of really delving into my past and just exploring some of those books that are still open, I can start to understand those occasions and experiences so much more, which almost allows me to come to natural resolutions on them in my own way. And so a hundred days ago when I had a load of goblins trapped down in this dark foresty area with all these open books that are unfinished and because there was so much stuff that is where my subconscious was all the time there was constantly things going on in that area now that so many of those are now resolved and filed in their place and I've come to terms with them the goblins that work in my library can spread more evenly across that whole space and when new experiences come in even if they do belong in the dark foresty catalogued area then it's quite simple for one of the goblins to take it over there and to file it in its right place because it's not surrounded by a thousand other dark books and other goblins trying to figure out all those problems. And the only way I was ever going to come to terms with all those things was to actually explore them and be totally honest with myself and with other people and sometimes professionals about those experiences because otherwise the book would never be finished and then it'd never get filed and it would just stay in that mess of a jungle that was in the dark little forest place of my mind. And we all have unfinished and open books in our dark forest spaces. And sometimes we end up with too many books open in that area. And I've heard sayings like, well, talking's not going to help me. What's that going to do for anybody? It's the talking that acts as that physical vehicle to be able to actually explore those things and to come to terms with them. And I think when things do build up and get too much in that area, it's only the person that owns the library, i.e. me, 100 days ago, that can make the decision to actually start to explore those books. And I suppose now that I'm in such a better place, I look at that decision in itself, not as me making a decision to talk about things and try and be better, but actually the flip side of that is before I didn't talk about things and didn't sort things out, I was actively making the choice not to sort things out and to carry on living in that horrible place that I was in. But that place can be all encompassing and impossible to escape from. And you lose sight of ever not being in there and that persona becomes the identity that you attach yourself to and it almost becomes addictive and that's not even just necessarily mental health related it might be getting into arguments with people and you end up in that kind of twisted world where you almost gorge on the distress or it could be anything but with honesty and openness and belief in yourself and belief in the people around you you can start to close some of those books and get them filed away and start to 
get back into the centre of where is a better place to be. And I really loved that analogy, so I thought I'd share that. And looking forward to the last two days of this now. So share, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.